Is this the camera that you're actually looking for? It might not be the latest and greatest anymore, but it can be found for less than half the price of the X100V. This is the Fujifilm X-Pro 2. Let's face it, you've been sucked in by the hype of the X100V. Can you justify that price? Can you find it anywhere? I have an alternative for you that can do everything and more. Now you may be thinking, surely the best alternatives to the X100V are the previous models in the X100 line. But the lack of availability of the X100V currently has resulted in a huge hike in value of the previous models. So I looked over to the X-Pro line. Now the X-Pro 3 is still expensive. But the X-Pro 2, without that weird screen, is exactly what you need. With the X-Pro 2, you have the ability to change your lenses. This is something that you don't get with the X100 series, you are stuck with a fixed lens, a 23 millimeter f2. Now, some people will say, but that can make you a better photographer. You need to move your feet. You need to find that composition. However, you can't do everything with one focal length. I think it's limiting you. And so with the X-Pro line, you have the opportunity to use a myriad of lenses which means at the end of the day this camera is more versatile than the X100V. Camera technology moves fast but the images that come out of the X-Pro2 they still stand up against today's latest and the reason for this is Fujifilm's color science as a whole and their film simulations that can't be replicated by any other brand. reputation in keeping their cameras up to date as much as they possibly can. The autofocus has been vastly improved and in my opinion it's perfectly usable in everyday circumstance. It couldn't shoot 4K video when it came out and yet a few years later Fujifilm was still upgrading the firmware and now it can. The X-Pro2 shares many of its features with the X100V. 
the rangefinder style, the hybrid optical and electronic viewfinder, the physical dials, the weather resistance, and it looks cool. The X-Pro2 is almost as compact as the X100V. And combined with the 27mm f2 pancake lens, you're getting as close as you can to that compact size. Recently I've been using the 35mm f2 and it is in itself a very compact and small lens. And again lends itself very well to the X-Pro2. You could go even further by using a lens adapter to attach an old vintage manual focus lens, you are then completely immersed in the nostalgia of film. thought. Do you really need the latest and greatest? You should have something that you can connect with. Something that gives you that feeling that makes you want to go out and take images that just transcend beyond the universe.